Okay, chapter 8, quantities in chemical reactions. Um, I can't remember why I skipped the first section, but I probably had a reason. So we're starting with section 8.2. We're going to talk about making pancakes. Hope you're not hungry. Um, the numerical relationship between the quantities in a balanced chemical equation is called stoichiometry, reaction stoichiometry. This is where we're looking at, well, if we have, you know, five grams of this starting ingredient, how many grams of the product can we make? You know, maybe I'm a manufacturer and I have a kilogram of this compound and I want to make five kilograms of something and is this going to be enough? These are very practical questions. These types of calculations are really, really important for chemistry. Okay. If you can't recognize a redox reaction, you can pass the class. If you can't do stoichiometry problems to save your life, you're not going to pass the class, and you shouldn't pass the class. So we're going to start by talking about something more friendly than chemicals. We're going to talk about pancakes. A recipe is a lot like a chemical equation. It describes how much of this and how much of that do you need to make how much of this thing, right? This is a very simple recipe. I wouldn't recommend trying it. These pancakes are not going to turn out very well. But a cup of flour, two eggs, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and you can make five pancakes from that. And here we have pictures just to make it even nicer. One cup of flour, two eggs, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and five pancakes, okay? This makes sense to us, right? Well, if we have two eggs and enough of everything else, that means we can make five pancakes because that's what this recipe says, right? If I have two eggs and plenty of this other stuff, I can make five pancakes. Well, we can take this idea of having pancakes for breakfast and make it all unfun by getting into math and chemistry with it. Right? So we can find conversion factors in the recipe, two eggs for every five pancakes. We can write it as a ratio, two eggs to five pancakes. We can also write it as a conversion factor, two eggs over five pancakes. Or you could tip it upside down. Everybody okay with that? Not too bad. What if we have eight eggs? How many pancakes can we make? 20. So we can kind of do that in our head because it makes sense to us. Well, let's write it out and see how that happens. And also we know it's 20 because there's a picture here that says 20 pancakes, but we'll ignore that. So eight eggs, that's what I've got. I know I've got plenty of everything else. I'm trying to find out how many pancakes. So my path is going to be eggs to pancakes, one step. The one step, one factor. Eggs to pancakes, I want to put pancakes on top, and I'm going to put eggs on the bottom because I want the eggs to cancel out. Um, and then I look at the, the recipe. For every two eggs, I get five pancakes. There's that conversion factor. Five pancakes from two eggs. Eight times five divided by two equals 20 pancakes. Many of you did that in your head without even recognizing what you were doing. You just thought about it, right? This is scaling up a recipe, right? What if you needed to make 150 pancakes for the pancake breakfast? You could figure out how many eggs you need, right? Any questions? 